You're watching the Arsenal Vodcast. Arsene Wenger saw his team secure third place on the final weekend of the Premier League campaign and he admits it's been an up and down season. I think uh, overall we had a good home season and uh, where we uh, uh, were disappointed at home is in the two big games that we lost against Man United against Chelsea. Overall I think we have done what was uh, demanded from us away. We uh, had periods where we looked very strong and periods where we looked vulnerable especially recently. And, uh, but overall, uh, if you divide well our season in two, going forward we have done very well. Uh, defending, we have been average. And when you concede 40 goals, you don't win the championship. Henry Lansbury made his Premier League debut against Fulham and he believes he's ready to push for a first-team place after a successful year with Watford. I think, yeah, I gained the experience of going out on loan again and that's what I need to play first-team football and I got stronger in myself and it was a good, um, obviously a good way to end the season. Premier League footballers love their cars and let's be honest, they can afford to pursue that particular passion. But the stats speak for themselves. Young male drivers are more likely to take chances on the road and are therefore more likely to die on the road than older drivers. And when you throw in some of the world's most powerful cars, well, young footballers are especially at risk. And that's why Arsenal's youth team have teamed up with Citroen to take part in some special advanced driving lessons. And we're here at the Arsenal training ground in London Colney to see young midfielder Craig Eastman go behind the wheel. So it's all about uh, just safe driving, really. Just get, um, get extra tips from uh, for, for for the road, really, because there's a lot of youngsters having car crashes and etc. Really, but it's just good for um, to, um, to to make sure you know the, the the safe way to drive still, even though you passed. And you've done the theory test already, I believe. Yeah, we've done the theory test uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it, that's the whole team. But um, it, it, even though um, everyone passed, you just got even if you if you don't pass, you uh, you still got to do it though. And um, because more safe on the road, because everyone's passed their test, so it's, it's better just to give even more tips to um, for more safety. How aware are you of, of driver safety? Yeah, I'm I'm very aware really, because you, you never know you can be driving, but it's not your fault someone's crashing to you. So you, you always want to be aware um, every time you get in your car, really. And when you're young, you're kind of more vulnerable because you, you maybe go a bit quicker than you would when you're old. Yeah, because it's, it's it's better really when it's it's not better when you're young, but um, because you get excited when you get in your car. So it's, uh, it's good, really. Neil, the youth team are taking special advanced driving lessons to uh, promote safety on the roads. It's, it's a great initiative by Citroen, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's first class. Um, they come to us and we thought it was a really good idea, especially with these lads now, they're getting these cars and, and it gives them awareness of the dangers on the road and anything that is safety is in, in, in the club's book is, is definitely top, top, top class. And when you talk about young footballers, you talk about very powerful cars, they can be vulnerable. Yeah, of course they are on the road, it's a dangerous place and uh, you see accidents every day and if we can make them aware of the perils on the road, it's, it's, it, if it stops one accident, it's well worth the, uh, as you say, the initiative that Citroen's made. 